And if you've been shopping lately, odds are you have found these bare shelves out of everything from produce to meats and essential paper products like toilet paper and sanitizers. It's a scene that's playing out in many stores across the country, including here in New England. Today's Stop and Shop gave us a tour inside its Freetown warehouse to see what the company is doing to continue to stock its stores. Iowa News News reporter Gina Marini has the story that's new at 530. Officials at the Stop and Shop Distribution Center say they have toilet paper going out to stores every day, among other items in high demand. Inside the 1.1 million square foot building, forklift operators are hard at work getting products in and out of the warehouse. The demand on, uh, uh, that our customers have made on the stores is a very large increase, um, more than double what we normally would have. The building takes in thousands of cases with fresh and dry products daily that are then sent to stores across Rhode Island, Massachusetts and Connecticut. We do send multiple trucks to a store on a single day, um, but it's going to take more than that to refill the stores to get them back to normal conditions. It's unknown when this pandemic will end, causing some people to stock up on items like toilet paper, leaving some shelves bare. There's really no need to panic. Um, we just need time to move it through the supply system. In addition to special hours for senior citizens put in place daily, stop and shop locations will also have six foot reminder signs throughout the stores. They will have tape on the ground to show distance from a customer to pin pad. And new this week, they're going to be installing plexiglass shields at every register, all in an effort to keep customers and employees safe. Gina Marini, Eyewitness News.